All right. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the notes if we can for a second. And uh, if you'll go to page two, you'll see on, on, on the, uh, uh, the screen uh, the whole master file concept. Now, what I'm going to teach you for Photoshop is not something that you're going to want to do every day. This is for an image that you want to pour your blood, sweat, and tears in, that you want to enter in a contest. Uh, those kinds of things. If you do your editing properly, you're probably only going to have one or two every, of every 50 images that are worth that trouble, if that. Okay. I mean, you want to be really critical. This is the one you want to pour all your blood, sweat, and tears in. So everything is built around the master file, which is what I teach to create. All we're going to talk about today, just so you know, are these uh, number two and number three, contrast and brightness and use saturation. You'll also notice that the master file is right in the middle of that workflow. That's basically a visual a representation of a proper workflow, as I teach it anyway, in, in Photoshop for photographers. So the second half, after you've created your master file, is what do you do with your master file? You're going to uh, uh, either print it, send it to the web, whatever you're going to do to it, but you need to start with that proper image. And so that's, that's really all the master file page is all about. It, everything is centered around that master file. Um, it's multi-purpose too, so that's why when you create the master file, if you enter the contest here, for instance, the first thing the judges we, we look at is the little little eight, pe eight bit JPEG that you send in. If you created it from the master file and you get accepted, then you go back to your master file and create an a, a file for print because you need to have it printed so we can look at the second round of prints. But you've only done the print once, and you poured all your blood, sweat, and tears into it.